Hello, grade 12s. Today we will show you how to determine N, the investment period or the number of equal regular payments installment depending on which formula we use. In all of the formulae, N is an exponent or a power. Let's remind ourselves of the formulae. The compound interest formula is used if amounts are invested at irregular intervals or a single amount is invested. The present value formula will be used if a loan is taken out and regular equal payments are made or if an amount is invested and regular equal amounts are withdrawn. The future value formula is used if regular equal investments are made over a period of time. We can use one of two methods to solve for the value of n in each of these formulae. We can either make the base on the one side of the equation equal to the base on the other side of the equation, then the exponents must be equal to each other, or we can use logarithms. Most of the financial calculations will require the use of logarithms to solve for n. Let's revise what we already know about logarithms. A logarithm is the power to which a base must be raised in order to get a given number. This means that if a to the exponent n is equal to x, it can be expressed as log of x to base a is equal to n. One way to remember the logarithm definition is to know that the log equals the exponent, or the exponent is equal to the log. Let's look at an example. Determine x if 7 to the power of x equals 49. This question asks us to find the value of the power that 7 is raised to so that it is equal to 49. Let's use logarithms to help us. Therefore, the exponent x is equal to the log of 49 to the base 7. This question is easy enough to do without a calculator, but let's use one anyway. This practice will help us with more complicated problems later. Using the lock key in the top right hand corner, we punch in the base, which is equal to 7 and the log number, which is equal to 49, and press equal to. The answer will equal to. Let us look at another example where we have to use a calculator. Solve for x if 5 multiplied by 3 to the power x equals 24. First, we need to isolate 3 to the power x. To do this, we divide both sides by 5. Therefore, 3 to the power x equals 24 divided by 5. Now that 3 to the power x is alone, we can solve for x using the logarithms. Therefore, x is equal to the log of 24 divided by 5 base 3. Now let's use the calculator to solve for x. First, we push the log button, then 3. Move across into the brackets. We need a fraction, so push the fraction button. Now we punch in 24 and move to the denominator. Then we just punch in 5 and press equals. This gives us an answer of 1,42781. We round this off to be 1,43. Now let's apply this skill in some financial maths problems. Patrick invested 5,700 rand at an interest rate of 9% per annum compounded annually. If he receives 12,321 rand at the end of the investment period, determine how long he invested the money. We will use the compound interest formula in this question. A equals P multiplied by open bracket 1 plus I close bracket to the power of N. With A equal to 12,321 rand, P equal to 5,700 rand, and I equal to 9 divided by 100, which equals 0 0,09. Substituting these values into the formula will give us 12,321 is equal to 5,700 multiplied by open bracket 1 plus 0, 0,09 close bracket to the power of n. 
adding 1 plus 0, 0,09 will give us 1,09 in the bracket. To solve for n, we have to divide both sides of the equation by 5,700. The equation will be 12,321 divided by 5,700 is equal to 1,09 to the power of n. We can now solve for n using logarithms. n is equal to the log of 12,321 divided by 5,700 to the base of 1,09. Punching these into our calculator gives us an answer of 8,94 years. It is important not to round off any values until we get to the final answer. Why don't you try the next problem before looking at the answer? How long will it take to pay off a home loan of 390,000 rand at 10.5% interest per annum compounded monthly if equal monthly installments of 4,100 is paid starting one month after the loan was secured? To do this problem, we need to use the present value formula. P equals 390,000 rand, X equals 4,100 rand, and I equals 10,5 divided by 100 divided by 12, which equals 0 0,105 divided by 12. Substituting will give us 390,000 equals 4,100 bracket 1 minus bracket 1 plus 0 0,105 over 12 bracket to the power of minus n bracket divided by 0 0,105 over 12. Using a calculator, we can simplify 1 plus 0 0,105 divided by 12 is equal to 807 divided by 800. We need to get the base and the exponent on one side of the equation. We start by multiplying both sides by 1 plus 0 0,105 divided by 12. Then divide both sides by 4,100. Then subtract 1. This is looking a little messy, so why don't we simplify the left-hand side using a calculator? Remember that we shouldn't round off until we have our final answer. The left-hand side equals negative 55 divided by 328, and the right-hand side equals minus open bracket 807 divided by 800 close bracket to the power of minus n. Next, we multiply both sides of the equation with negative 1. Finally, using the log definition, we will have minus n equal to the log of 55 divided by 328 and a base of 807 divided by 800. This will give us an answer of minus 204,97 months. Therefore, n equals to 204,97 months. Thank you for joining us, Great Tofs. You'll be able to learn more about financial mathematics on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember also to try the task video at the end of this section. Goodbye.